we have a bunch coming up in this episode. We do a quick, quick delve and we made 80 chaos. We get all kinds of chaos. Uh, what do we have? 620. Another way that I'll show you. And we do tier 16 map and I die to some really tough craziness in another map, but I shouldn't have. Uh, I think it was a Verisium at a hundred percent that that's the, I wanted to see if I could do it. So let's do it. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome back to episode 15 of the Cyclone of Tumult Slayer build guide for new players. We're in Settlers of Kalgur and Path of Exile. We're having a blast. Um, I have updated quite a bit of stuff. So let's go over that. There'll be a path of building down below. I still need a little bit more down here, um, but we're doing well. And I'll go over the prices roughly and, and see from that. But the path of building will help you if you click on that in the description. Then you can go over each item and, you know at your own leisure. So here we go. Be because we have a max rage of, of 8, 48, I want to get up to max rage really quickly. Not only that, this these gloves at 19%, the range is, uh, what is it, 10 to 20. At 20%, it gets a little expensive. These gloves were 75 chaos. Well, I said, no problem. And not only that, I I wanted the four white sockets all linked because it just makes um, makes socketing things easier. I can mix things around. I'm still figuring out what I want to do. So I want to add in Blood Rage. And I was like, you know what? I would like it with tied to more duration just in case. And I was like, hmm, this will support that. So I had this one here, War Banner, more duration and increased area for the War Banner. I was like, okay, I could do that. But then all of a sudden I have, I only have 151. When I went and bought this, I only have 151 decks. So what we'll do is control left click to open that up and we'll scour this down one level. Now, if it's corrupted, you can't do it, but this will work. So we'll take off a level off that. And now we can put it in here and we're going to put it right here. Blood Rage. I haven't used Blood Rage. I'll, I'll try it. I was... I think I was always uh, a little reluctant to use it. Let's see. If we're just standing here and we press it, what happens? Does it go on there? Still working. Still cranking along. What's the what's the duration of the thing now? Duration, duration. Fif almost 15 seconds. Not bad. And then it goes off, so it eats through that because it, it, it ate away at my energy shield. Um... But I'm able to sustain it. I'm taking 4% of my damage or 4% of my max life, which is, I don't know, 80 per. But because the belt, we're able to sustain that. What if I push this and do this? Yeah, we're still able to uh, sustain it using, you know, because we lose, use blood rage. So this cost, the cost comes out of here, the 20 per swing. Not bad. We're able to do it. It'll be nice to, to enable that because it does quite a bit. Um, it should shoot up our. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can we see on here what it actually does if we click that. One thirty one. We press it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take that. More attack speed. Um, and then the attack speed goes up from there because we scale it with Cyclone of Tamal. It goes even higher and it just gets crazy. Um, let's turn on our pride or not pride uh purity of elements and then um we have to ha make sure this is on one two three let's see i don't want it this one i haven't gone into yet so let's we'll figure that out later um i gotta make sure that not frost bomb but this is working so how am i gonna enable that maybe maybe four we'll put that on four and we'll close that off so one in four to rebuff if I need to, and I have to have to check there. Ugh. Wish we had one more slot here. That'd be nice. Just to check, just to make sure it's up. Um, and again, this doesn't work in the automation doesn't work in the hideout. Okay. So we've gone over a lot. Oh, how I've been making a lot of money is late at night. I just throw up some, um, these things, check these prices out. Um, I bought 500 of these at for 100 chaos for five to one i bought 180 at nine to one so let's see what the current prices are so you can see i have uh 500 360 uh, 4 520 over a th about 1100 of these that's worth at a minimum let's say two to one uh five 
550 chaos, but I only spent 170 chaos. So yeah, you can see how this can scale up. Now let's take a look at the current price. Now, sometimes the price collapses down to, you know, uh, like matching. So that's almost matching. So that's not a good price. Um, are they paying one to one? Let's see if they're paying one to one. So I've got a bunch in here that I've been selling off to. And I list all of these on the trade market, even though it's a free to play account. So I li list all of these. So I'm selling six. They see that I'm selling 60, but I just sell from this stack at six for 10. Six of these are six chaos for 10. But let's see if this is working. Con concern. Do I have any? Oh, I have a little bit. Um, so we're going to control click there and we're going to say one. We'll say 10. Are they actually selling one for one? No. Oh, they were for a second there. And then there's the price down the, the buy price. This is the buy, the par, part on the bottom is the buy price and the, there's the top price. So we'll leave these 10, 10 on here, one for one, and they might slip down to that again, but it looks like two for one is the, is the, you know, there, oh, there, somebody popped it up one for one. Ooh, and they want 135 of them. So let's do 40 of these. So now you can see the profit goes way up. Um, we'll do 40. We only have, we can only do 40, but if I could, could have done more, more I would have. We just got 40, one for one. We bought them. That's nine times our money, guys. Or at least five times. So you can see how things can get crazy pretty fast and you can make a lot of doing a lot doing this so um i'm gonna actually disable i don't want to do trades now oh well, maybe a few i'll do a few at my price but then i'll keep an eye out for selling at one to one people use these even i'm gonna be using these as well um i'm gonna use this kind and i need some of these let's see for mapping I, th I think I'm going to use them too. They really do. They help out. Um, they add 5%. So that's like a quarter of a chisel. So that's a half a chisel or not 10% uh, more a quantity bonus to your maps. Okay. Gear wise, I think we're the same as the last episode. We've been rocking through the um, Atlas. I even took some, went and got some uh, tier 16 maps. Where are they? Oh, I didn't complete it though. Uh, I didn't get the bonus completion for it. Let's go do a tier 16, um, <laughs> tier 16 map, uh, right here. Um, rare will identify it. There's pretty much, there's, aren't any, um, mods that I care about. I don't care about any of these mods on here. So, but we have to get it. We have to complete the red ones, um, as corrupted. Ooh, that's a lot. Hostile territory. Look at all those mods in there. And I really don't care about any of them. None of them can kill me. So let's take a look. Let's do this tier six. Uh, let's put Legion in there for fun and put all these in there. So now it'll boost it up. Oh, I should have, oh, I should have quality it up with the chisel. Darn it. That would have been, uh, yeah, I should have used four chisels on that. I forgot. So we would have got even more. So we have no gold essentially. So let's go fire it up and away we go. And we'll be able to add more um, map slots here too. We'll be able to get five, and then if we can pull off a tier 17, we'll get six map slots. All right, here we go. I don't think this was a um, tier 16. I just grabbed, I thought it was a red map in here. That's a beach map. Um, Here's a beach map that's that way. And we'll just go do this map. Caldera. I'll be right back. What map tier is this? This is like a tier 13 or something. Oh well, we'll do a two tier 16 in a second. Let's knock this out and see what we get. We'll just run up here. I'll take the alterations, I guess. I've got to make an even stricter uh, uh, <laughs> item filter. But this is just easy stuff. Oh, can we turn on our, whatchamacallit thing? Our, uh, our rage, blood rage, and see what that does. Uh oh. Gotta do a deal. Seems to be working. And we'll go do this deal and be right back. 
I just typed in slash D and D. So now I, I won't get it interrupted with trades. It just moves me into do not disturb mode. There we go. So let's see what we get here. Um, I guess we'll enable blood rage. And where is it up there? It's at the top. Everything's good. It looks like it's working. Oh, a little bit of weirdness going on there. And then hit that and that. Ooh, we get a, we needed that. Um, what do you call it? Uh, the itch, the eldritch uh, items there. The ickers and the these things right here. We're gonna use those. Nice. We need a, we need a, we need a few of those actually. Quite a few. We're gonna get a lot more though. It'll be nice. I'll take the cage match and we try. Oh, we just destroyed that guy. Eight seconds, seven seconds on our thing up there on the top. Oh, and we're getting um, endurance charges uh, if they hit us. So that's nice too. 25% chance. I'll show you where over on the bottom of the left of the uh, map uh, talent talent tree. And yeah, the blood rage is just cruising along. Oh, here's the legion. Scoop out to the edge there, knock this guy out, and then we'll go to the other edge. Oh, here's a tough guy. Yeah, that's all of them. Let's hit this way then. And whoa, what was that? This is our second death now. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was something pretty serious though. What did he do? Crush on hit? I don't know. Might be in her blood rage was low. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. That's still firing. Let's hop back in. And let's go see. It was pretty serious though. All right, let's go. Let's go find out. And we're at 4,100 health, which is nice. All right, here we go. We're going to start speeding up here. We'll use our speed booster there. Oh, went the wrong way. Oh, it didn't. It didn't move the portal. This is the portal, so let's just move the portal up here. Well, actually, I don't want it moved up here, but yeah, let's do it. Just in case we die again, we'll move it right up here. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's what, whatever that was. <laughs> whatever that thing was. That thing, that guy's tough. Okay, that guy's tough. <laughs> we don't even have our blood rage on for that, but we moved our portal right here. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That guy, what does he do? Crush on hit, extra crits, and whatever this is. <laughs> so this whole combination plus that is uh, pretty serious. Okay, so uh, let's pass him. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, we'll just pass it. Oh, I want to get rid of that big old sign on the other side. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's pass those guys. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. One thing left. Um All right. Uh, let's try it. Yikes. I just want that off there now. Whatever that whatever all these stats are. <laughs> Come on. Get away from me. <laughs> there. Now it should be back to somewhat normal. Jeweler's orbs. Nah. Okay, let's get out of here. Put that there now. Go up this way. We only have this our last. I, I don't think I've ever failed a uh, thing like this because, well, whatever those stats were, it really was bad. Here I am saying, I don't think I have to worry about these things. Well, I'm still not, you know, I'm not geared out for tier 16s, but we can do them. Except that was pretty bad, whatever that combo was. We'll open up this. I mean, I even did the Verisiums on Max, everything on this, so we'll see what's going on. I don't know. You guys will tell me that, hey, it was this mod plus this mod plus the crushed plus all the <laughs> extra hits. <laughs> I don't know. There. All right. Let's let's see if we can pull this off. We're going to use our uh, banner and this and that all at the same time here. Oh, and Maven is going to witness this. Yeesh. Oh, and there's two of them. That's not so bad. Oh, we won. And we completed. Oh, we get a strand map. Whew. <laughs> that was uh, on the edge there, huh? All right, we'll put that there. And there we go. Maybe I'll move um, F 
this over on F instead of a portal. And then I maybe make the portal of a one or something. I don't know. We can still use this too. Oof, we got a lot to incorporate. So we're going to spend this point. And we've been spending the points right here. We got um, the shrines. Then we went over here. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going. Uh, maybe this is better. Oof. Um, we we got these shrines so far. So we get a shrine in our map so far. We're gonna get we're gonna improve that. And then we came down this way. What is here? Harbinger. And then we got the buff from the Nico. But we're gonna try to get Nico in there at a hundred percent. So we took this one, this one, this one, and then we took this one and this one. This adds some uh, cool things where you can get either a chest or a buff or a ghost pops out from the Nico sulfites. Then we went up here and we got, this one has to do with uh, getting more Azurite. You have a 10% chance to match it. It's really nice to, you know, get 2000 Azurite out of a, out of a sulfite node every, you know, one, one uh, you have a 10% chance, but I like doing that. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to get the other Delve nodes. And I think that should put us at, once we get all those, I don't take this one because we're going to have tons of sulfide. So then we're just going to work around here. And then I'm going to cut in into the middle here to get these things. Um, these are really nice. So I don't know which way I'm going to cut in yet. Let's see. Not expedition. Maybe harvest. Uh, probably these. Probably just cut in here. And then take that one too. And get these. And then we're going to come up this way. We're going to get the shrines. We're going to get the... I don't know about the covetous shrine. Probably. And... Yeah, and then I'm going to take this one, and we'll go from there. Nice. So what did we get? Oh, 5,000 gold out of that. So then let's take a look at this price now. Currency. We're going to take all of these out of here. So we bought those at 8 to 1. And we're going to look at the current price. So the current price, I just click that, and then I say... Right here, it's not at one to one, but it's close to one to one. We're gonna sell some of these for one to one now. So we'll go control click here, and then I'll say, hey, I wanna sell, I don't know, a hundred of these at 100. Ooh, let's sell 200 of these at 200. Oh, I don't have 200 on me. Really? Do I have to get them out of here? Maybe. Uh, one. How many do I have on me? 170? Okay. But it'll keep it there for us. 200. I have 200. There. <laughs> uh, 200 to that, and we'll place the order. It could get there, so we're gonna we're gonna say, hey, I'll I'll do the deal for 200 if somebody places an order for that, you know, for chunks of them. So here we go place order so we're getting oh somebody already had it up there that fast so this tells me i gotta i really have to um start liquidating at one to one and not sell these so um yeah that's important i'm gonna go update my forum post done so i just updated it easy to update do we have to do this map oh we're gonna have to do that map too what do we get a 12 but we're gonna do a 13 um i'll, I'll put this over here to do later we also have to do that one. There's so many to do. <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's a good thing. And we don't really have a dump tab, so I've been using this. So we'll just dump that in there. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Ooh, these things. Let's go see if we can roll something cool. And what is this? This is the beach map that we're going to do. Okay, so these things. Eldritch Ickers and the uh, the other one. There's Searing Exarch. What this does is, what did we what did we roll so far? Life regen, and that's a. This is an eater of worlds, and see at the top there where it says seven percent, um, eater of worlds on there. That seven percent, that's how you re-roll these those those stats. Well, I like seven percent life gen regen. Um, so I'm gonna put it on this one, and what do we have? Eater of worlds reduce shock. Well, we don't get shocked because we're immune to shock. With this so let's re-roll that one at the top there five percent chance to shock can we actually shock at all in shock damage increased oh no maybe we can shock shock always we is weird to me how it works or doesn't work hmm let's uh id this one well we'll id all these maybe we'll run that one next 
and we'll go over here and now we have to make this uh corrupted but i want to do i want to do this to it first what is this a tier 16 i want to use some i'm gonna have to buy some more of these there's another place you can buy them too there we go four of them on there and then we're going to corrupt it and here we go um if you don't if you're not playing this and you don't you're not immune to reflected damage like elemental or physical you have to be aware of it if that map has it and you're doing elemental or physical damage and it's going to hit back you'll instantly die so you have to be aware but we're, we're immune to both those so we don't care about physical damage reflect and we don't care about elemental because of brutality right here we don't deal any damage like that so we're in good shape so here it is tier 16 we've qualityed it up we're going to add these two in here to um, get a little more oomph out of the map. And let's do it. Tier 16. Oh boy. Let's see if we... <laughs> that Legion was crazy. <laughs> that guy was hitting hard. <laughs> Didn't expect that, but oh well. Here we go. Nice. And I like beach maps because I just kind of sweep back and forth. And we don't... We had like 500... Less than 500 gold there so we'll see how much gold we get out of this now i think it's worth it to use those things and i think other people realize that too use the uh fragments in your maps because i think it's adding to the gold so if i can get 10 percent more gold out of a map like this and i usually get about eight to ten thousand gold well that's like a thousand extra gold which allows me to do quite a bit for le less than usually about a half a chaos each is what they sell for, but now I'm getting them for a chaos each. Because people are realizing they're important. Ooh, for us, can we do a full one? Let's put our let's put that there. And we're gonna try a full Verisium. And let's do this one too. Let's do uh that thing. Oh, oh it's split in half. Alright, so we're gonna put a stun there, a freeze there, and I still have to upgrade anoint my rings too. Uh stun here. And a, a booster there. And we'll try to upgrade the stun. Ugh. Can we put anything else? Maybe like a freeze here or something? And is there a freeze we can put over here? Not really. Come on. I'm just looking at the map for the red to appear. Did I do a freeze or a... St oh, I did a freeze and not a, a booster. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Yikes. Hopping back and forth. Ugh, get out of there. I don't have my other uh, blood rage on right now. Yikes. But I do have a panic flask, which is nice. Yikes. These are intense when you don't have any uh, anoints or anything on the map. It's just... Yeesh. Is it stopping them? Let's see. A little better one. Nice. Whoa. Whatever I'm standing in over there is very not nice. I think we want it. We need some more of these. Um, we need uh, some oils to... Because we still don't have this anointed. <laughs> we'll get there. Valorb, I need that. Anything over here? Ooh, come on. Oils, we need them. Teal oil, that's good. I need those. For our rings. Opalescent. Very cool. How much do those sell for it? Crimson. Let's see. Opalescent. Sells for 12 chaos. But we're going to keep it because it's going to be mixed and matched depending on what. Um, there's an oil calculator. If you type into Google POE oil calculator, um, it's important to use, or use and do. Let's do this and we're going to really. We're going to crank this one up to 11 teen. We're going all the way to the top here, guys. This is really bad at, at 100%, or I expect to die. But let's try it. I'm going to, I'm boosting everything up. Ugh. <laughs> I expected to die. I really did. <laughs> it's really a bad idea to go all the way up. 90% is nice, but up at this level, it gets crazy. But I want to try it. Let's keep going. Let's try it. Yikes. Let's put this thing over here. <laughs> oh, what is that? 
I'm, I'm, not, I'm just gonna get in. Let's, let's skip over that. <laughs> That's a little too much. I, I wanted to push my luck. That's like a, a ridiculous number. Whoa, get out of here. Um, we'll put it over here now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't even want to do this uh, expedition now with those guys right there. All right, back to the normal stuff. <laughs> that was a little crazy. Ooh, look at all that. Two thousand gold so far. Nice. Oh, I, I gotta open that up, don't I? I think it's flaw. <laughs> all right and then what i'm gonna do is go back down to you know tier 10 maps and just i i gotta complete all that stuff oh yikes <laughs> those guys are tough don't go to 100 percent unless you can really really handle it um and we're not geared up all that we have so much more gear to do so and we'll just go like this we'll put the thing right there And down in Delve, I'm going to get a bunch of portal scrolls in stacks, so I'm not worried about that. Nice. We should go do Delves next. But this is a tier 16. If I didn't, if I, if I didn't put that thing up to, um, crank it up to 11 on that Verisium ore, I would have been fine. But I just had to test. <laughs> I had to test it. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. But at 90%, it's not nearly as bad. Once you go to 100%, it, it makes it like three or four times worse than what it normally is. It, it goes. Through the roof. Ooh, this guy's tough. And he's maven. Um, the maven's on him, too. I've got my uh, blood rage going. Or max rage. Ooh, we got that. That's worth a lot, I think. Let's see. How much is this worth? Ooh, 15 chaos. So, I mean, we got 30 chaos out of this thing, plus a bunch of gold. Um, eventually you'll be getting eight to 10,000 gold out of a tier 16 map, um, like this because of what you do to your Atlas, like all these quant modifiers and these things right here, all of these, I use a bunch of these. In fact, over here's some, uh, some more, I think it's maps, increased map modifiers, you know, the, it, the higher the modifier goes and the rare stuff goes, the more gold you're going to get. Cool. All right. So I'm going to spend another point right here. And I'm working over towards this. And then I'm going to get the rest of the, in the circle here. Just to add like 1%, 1%, 1%. And then I'll go in the middle. Get that too. Spend that. I think we're in good shape. Oh, I got to dump all this stuff. I've got to anoint my rings. Um, I could just do a cheap anoint. Let's do that. Um, so we're going to go. We're just going to dump this stuff. Ritual. We're just going to dump this stuff. Let's do that. Dump all this in here, and then I'll organize it real quick. Deal with that. Um, I probably want to sell this map. So that'll be a sold map. And then here we go. I'm just going to put clear on both. And that'll just add to the... Um, I think clear on both will do this. Let's see. We'll mix it up. Maybe a sepia oil. And we'll move these over here. Oh, look at those. Nice. And sepia. Oh, we have more than... <laughs> you can three for one these, too. So we'll, we'll three for one one of these. Let's go over and talk to her. Oh, and we got to do an Alva. Oh, jeez. Um, do we do it here? Anoint? I want to be able to upgrade these. Do we do it this way? Usually I have a tab for this, so I don't... I haven't done it this way for a while. Oh, it's so there. We just do three, and we get one back. If you if you have a ton of these, you can upgrade them that way. But we're gonna go with anoint the item. I mean, we could put uh, the triple clear on here. Doesn't do anything on this uh, ring, so we're gonna go. Oh, come on! And it just increased damage from our chilling towers. But what if we were to do, to do something like that? The freeze bolts. Um, we'll just do chilling towers and see what happens. So it's something on there. We'll in there we go. Now it's anointed on there, and we'll anoint this one too. It's just something, just to get something on there. So fifty percent increased damage, and then this one. Oop, 
we're going to need the other thing to equip that now. Unless that, I think we can just put it right back on. Yeah, and it, it enables it. Nice. Um, let's try Amber. One of those and one of these. I don't want retaliation. Um, let's try Triple Sepia. Tincture. We don't have tinctures. Let's see if we can get one, one little thing on there. Um, maybe we can use triple amber or maybe I don't want to use these expensive ones maybe one verdant let's try one verdant and see what we can get just to temporarily put on one. and we can overwrite this annoyed too so we'll just go like oh here it is don't forget it in there I've done that before one of those one amber and one sepia spell damage mana intelligence 20 intelligence wouldn't be bad just for temporarily doing it and I might do that so Burden, because I don't do this, but it's just temporary. Um, what about two ambers? I'll do, I'll do that one. Suppress spell damage and increase movement speed. There we go. So now at least we have something on there. There we go. And then later what I'll do is I'll look down here and I'll say, what about, can I get these? I would like that. That would be nice. Um... And then you hold down Alt. We need a Violet, a Crimson, and an Opalescent. I don't think we have all those yet, but we could buy it. Violet? We don't have a Violet. We have an Opalescent, a Crimson, Crimson, and we just need an Opalescent. What if I did... What's the three-for-one recipe? I don't, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we can get into a three-for-one recipe. Let's, let's try it. Let's do this, and we'll sell... three ambers and then we'll change the three ambers into three ambers into two verdants and then the two vert let's take one more verdant oh we got it right here let's do three verdants and do a teal darn oh well we'll, we'll accept that <laughs> Normally I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be selling them on the market and I'd have a tab to do it in, but I, or we'd sell them on here, but I'm just messing around. So we're getting closer. <laughs> and we'll put all these down here and move them over. Oh, and then we have these things to do. ambush five additional strong boxes. How much do those sell for? Um, oh, pretty good. Three or four. We could probably sell that on the market thing, on the regular market. And then this one, what about this Titanic? This isn't anything now. Maybe one chaos. We'll just put it over here for now. And we'll move this down here. So you can see the upside of having a more more different stash tabs. It really helps with the organization. Ritual, we'll put down there. Ugh, messy, messy, messy. Put this there. Uh, we're probably going to... That's a blighted map. Okay. Um, and we can sell off these. Vendor them, vendor them. And we'll put this... Uh, back over here and then we'll stop <laughs> messing around with this stuff okay hello, hello, hello. currency market we want to sell this one for chaos and then we go like that. Ooh, 12 to 1 you can buy them on the i think we could buy them in bulk it better than that no not 12 to 1 really yeah let's try to get 13 out of it We'll let it sit there and maybe somebody will buy it for 13. They did. <laughs> Very nice. And then we'll uh, ID this. So right here, I'm the one that says, I don't care about the price. Just give me your best thing. And back over here, when I'm sitting there going 20 for one, they didn't care about the price. They were just like, hey, I just want to get rid of these. So I'm in this case, I'm offering very little, but they're like, yep, I'll take it. And they take it. And then I turn around and I try to sell them. And we go from there. Whew. Um, let's sell some more of these. We have 4,000 to sell, so how many can we sell here? Oh, we can sell quite a bit. This so we can just go like this and take 180. And how many? We have 4,000, so we could do maybe 40. 40. Oh, so we could do 160. And 160. And we'll use all 4,000. Nice. Very cool. 
And then I put 400 in King's March just to get them working. Earth, perfect. Is this worth anything? Not really. And then we'll vendor these. Control left click on her. Puts it right there. You can also do div cards with her. You can trade those div card stacks in with her. And we're going to put these in here. So it it's very doable. Um, I'll say this. It's very doable. You can even bulk sell it with an, a, a free to trade, trade account. But you're going to be doing a lot of juggling is all. Um, but it's free to, it, for a free to play game. I'm this far. I'm doing tier 16 maps on a free to trade account. This this really does open up a, a great deal. If you can pull this off, this this helps free to trade players a huge amount. We'll take those. And uh, did we do, sell all 200 of these? We did. And then do we have any other one for one trades? Oh, we got 500. So right now this is 500 chaos. We have multiple divines worth of stuff here, guys. Up to the point where I might need to start trading for some divines. Um, pop that over there. Holy cow. This is a lot. What is this doing here? Um, I guess I'll put it over there just, just for fun. Grant soul eater for five minutes. <laughs> All right. We'll move these down here. Nice and organized. Beautiful. How many do we have here? 560. And we have another, we have thousand, we have 1500 ish. Um, Chaos worth of value now, easily. Maybe 2,000 if we sell everything else off. 2,000 chaos. That's a lot. We're doing well. We're going to be able to get a Defiance of Destiny sooner than I thought. Nice. Ooh, let's go get these things. We're going to go in here. And in here. And we'll go to Kuri Shores. Let's go get our rewards. Can't pass up free stuff. <laughs> let's see what we get. Let's come down this way. And we'll go to Dell. We'll do, go do Dell next. A Dunes map. I think we needed that, right? Yep. We can get credit for that one and that one. Look at all these points. We can still unlock bonus points. Nice for the, for the Atlas. Easy stuff. Ooh, and a blighted map. A tier 10 blighted map. Ooh, that's going to be a little harder. I got to. Well, we got some anoints at least a little bit of help. You can also anoint your maps as well. Um, I usually don't do that, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, and then I can just press F6 and go right back to my hideout. Beautiful. Let's go do Delve. And we could, I put Nico in here somewhere. Where did I put Nico's over here? I got to get used to this new location here. Let's take a look at the chart. We have, oh, we're almost full of um, Sawflight, so we should go do it. And we're going to go down here and we're going to try to drill deeper. Oh, it got rid of that fire node that I was looking for. It reset it. Usually it doesn't reset stuff, but be oh, because we are deeper. So maybe it's up here, the fire node. There it is still. Yep. We could go get it. Let's go get that fire node and see what's hap See what that's all about. And we need Azure right still quite a bit of it because we got to up upgrade our carrying capacity, all kinds of things. Nice. And pretty soon we're going to have Nico in every map that we do. And that way we'll have tons and tons of sulfite. But you, as you can see, oh, here's here's the wall. See that little wall like that? So I threw a, a dynamite down. Oh, whoa. Hidden jewelry, hidden jewelry, hidden well. Very nice. Oh, yeah, this I, I'm taking a lot of damage in the dark here because we, we've got to upgrade our uh, darkness thing, our darkness protection. So I'm going to stick with the path. I'm going to stick with this guy. Oh, and a dynamite. We'll pick that up and it, there was some dynamite in it. Oh, I know why. I didn't have my uh, buffs going. Uh, where's the other one? Four. That's why. Did I have those off on, on some of that, some of those fights? I think I must have. There. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> no wonder I was taking some massive hits. Yeah, I was, it didn't have my purity of elements up or the other auto buff thing, the um, automation with all the other stuff. Steel skin. Ugh. Oh, well. At least we're not in hardcore. And what is this thing? Let's throw down a light right there. See how dim the light even for my torch is down here? I've got to upgrade that too. 
Oh, there we go. We get gold down here too. I'm cool with that. And I guess we'll pick up those. And those are worth opening now because then at least we get some gold out of them. Oh, and then you put, hold on Alt and see you can see extra stuff that's hidden. Jeweler's orbs, stacks of stuff. Cool. Oh, and I'll take that off there. Let's see if we can take that off. I think it's like that. One second. There. I just we don't need that up there. And there we go. Let's see if we can. I, I kind of just want that. How much azurite do we have? Let's go see. Uh, how much azurite do we have? 385. Not too much. Oh, we could upgrade this. Take one more torch. I'd like to upgrade. Oddly enough, I'd like to upgrade that. Um, light radius. Oh, we are way behind here. 1600 to upgrade this. Oof. All right, let's grab this one. We need more azurite. And then we'll go attack that other, other area. Okay, now we're back on track here. And for you guys who are like, <laughs> sorry to the guys that were like, hey, your purity of elements is down. <laughs> I don't know, I must have swapped around some gear. It should stay up. Very strange that it would drop off like that. The automation is still running. Well, this is just easy. This is uh, Cyclone Smalt is not a slow skill at all. Once I start, you know, once you do all those things. Some people say wear those stampede boots. I've tried them and they make you go even slower than this. So they set your speed to 150 and I want to go faster than that by far. So nah. I think I need a um, an armor flask. I would like that next. We might give up on the um, stun immunity if we can do well enough with that and get some evasion too because taking every hit is is we'll see we'll see what the things turn out sometimes it's not a not a concern at all um i don't mind getting hit a lot too because we get endurance charges um a 25 percent chance at an endurance charge but we'll see okay um now let's go spend some money 491 that's not money <laughs> um i guess we could do this one and this one and that one Ugh. and it's not yeah we gotta get a bunch of these things but let's go have some fun with this one i'm gonna re i have a reset exp on this thing this button here let's see it uh general chat down here see this command if you type that in in the command uh, on on the chat line It'll reset your current thing. I have it to shift Q. So right now we're getting 56 million with all those deaths. We're going to reset it and we're going to see what this is all about. So it's reset. There we go. So let's see how much uh, we get out of here. Oh, this is a short run too, though. Is this the fire node? I think it is. Not a very good node to test it on, but oh well. We'll take that. And I'm not trying to look for, uh, like, side areas. Well, a little bit of side area. Yeah, our torches down here do not do much, do they? Oh, I'll take that gold, though. Right when I say I don't want to go into side areas, I start peeking into the side area. Oh, we'll blow that up. Put a torch there. Oh, we get a bunch of things. Resonators. Nice. Oh, that is really good. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> nice. All right. And we'll just come down this way. Ooh oh, I won't go in there. I'm getting too chicken now. <laughs> yeah, we gotta upgrade our uh the we gotta upgrade our delve stats down here, so. Get away from me, thing. Poison thing. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be a serious fight. Maybe it's not. Look at the the size of this thing. I can just stand in the middle? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, here's the big tough guy. And he's done. Ooh, we need those instilling orbs. Oh, don't click that thing accidentally. Okay, here we go. Here's some weird armor. We'll take a look at that back in, in town. Oh, and what are we at? 
356 million per hour. Yeah, we can get a lot of EXP really fast down here. Oh, and this is too much loot now. So if, you, if you're in a situation where you have too much loot, as long as you don't go to another location in the mine, this should be this should stay up. Oh, my God. We're going to have to vendor these. Not vendor, but um maybe get rid of them the other way. So if we can go in here, we can hop in this. And we're just going to stick these in here for now. And we'll stick these in here, too. Eesh. Holy cow. Yeah, we're going to have to use uh, Faustus to get rid of this stuff. Because this is too much down here. <laughs> and that. And then if you go right back in, see that little symbol? We can go right back in here and pick up this. Uh, and we'll just take a look at it. We'll most likely vendor it, vendor it, but sometimes you'll find a really good item. And if you hold down all, you can see the big stacks of stuff if you want to pick them up. Sometimes we'll get like 20 in a stack. Really nice. So let's go take a look at this stuff. It's fire. It's weird, weird stuff. See how it's, um, if we press F1, that one didn't get any, um, what about this one? Doesn't look like any weird stuff on it. That one doesn't look like it got any weird stuff on it either. Oh, nope. This is a Delve mod. So it did. Any weird mods there? Nope. So we're, let's take this and this. And we're going to go right over here to him. Oh, we did the quest. So our quests are done. For that now. So we're going to vendor these. Because I don't think those are any good. But what about this one? Reduced fire damage taken. What's the range on that? It's just a... Ooh. So that's something interesting. So let's accept those. We're just going to vendor that. Now this thing. Let's do a price check on that search so just having that mod on there um is pretty valuable probably like worth four or five chaos but i would have to actually sell it and i don't want to deal with that um in a regular leak i might or with a you know with a premium tab but i don't want to because so let's get rid of that one and what about this one f1 reduced fire damage six percent let's search for that one odd Oh well, a little bit less. Okay. And let's go see what else we got in here. Oh, we got a bunch of these. Oh, we'll find out the prices on these as well. And these. We'll deal with these later. We'll put this in here and deal with that later. Oh boy. And we'll just stick this right here. And I'm going to have to upgrade these and and sell them as well. If I'm not using them, I've got to sell them. And you can upgrade three for one these things too into the next version, next version. And we'll probably do that or see if they actually sell. We'll see. Okay. Uh, what about this thing? Reduced. We know that's not a sell. But what about these? How much do these sell right now? 25 chaos, probably more. So let's go. Let's go take a look what they really sell for. See, this is not the real price. The real price is up here, especially in bulk. You can probably get them for, let's see, if you have 11 or more of these, you're looking at four divine, four, 11. Holy cow. What's the real price here? No, that's not the real price. 40, 40 to one. So this is worth four. If you can hold on to these and sell them in bulk, you can get 40 chaos per, which is a quarter of a divine. So down in Delve right now, these are worth a quarter of a divine, guys. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, that's going to be good, because I can get more of these the deeper we go. Nice. I want to see what they're worth just selling them off through Faustus. Currency exchange. We'll go like that, and we want chaos. What's the current price? 32? 38? Um... All right, let's uh, let's get 32 chaos out of this. Done. I'll take that. A little bit less, but for now that's cool. I just want to get the trade done. And what about these? Um, one for how much? 14 chaos? Really? So we're gonna get we're gonna get 28. Are you sure? 28? Come on, I can type right. Maybe. <laughs> Or two of those? It looks like it. We should get it, right? 
they're 1 to 12. They're at least 12. This should, this should work, right? 13, 14, 13, 12. Oh, no, no, no. We went a little bit too high. I think it's 12 is the current best price. Let's cancel this and redo it. It's okay. I don't mind. Um, so 24. Place order. There we go. That's the right price. So we just made 24. We made more than this, guys. We did really well. Just that short run, we did 32, 24, 50, 60, plus all these. Plus, the, what's the price on these? One. What's the price? Uh, looks like three. So we could get nine for this. And we don't... Oh, yep. We should be able to get nine for it. Oh, almost nine. So we could have done eight there. Oh, and it's not one. <laughs> it's two. I messed up there, too. Oh, well, you can see uh, I'll make the mistakes, but you, you get the idea. The real price is I, I should have put a three there or a two there and sold them for six or whatever. But these aren't going to sell, so we'll just say go like that. Just like that. And we'll deal with those in a second. We do have three of those. So that's nine. We made like 70 chaos off that run, plus these things. What are these worth? Um, Two to one, one to one, one for three. If we have one, I think it's three for one this way. Yeah, it's probably three for one that way. I bet you. And we'll do six. We'll just do it twice. Yeah, it's three for one. You could probably get a better price than that, but just to get rid of them. What about prismatics? What's the ratio here? Um, is it two? No, it's not two. Looks like, I don't know. Let's put two there. Oh yeah, it's more than two. <laughs> oh well. It, but you can see we're doing really well. Chaos wise, we're in good shape. Oh, we're gonna get rich down there. <laughs> yeah, nice. I like it, <laughs> and it's fun. I like I like doing delve. Um, I hope this helps. Um, looks like oh geez, we're gonna do so many things here. Uh, we're gonna have to have a fossil area. Uh, I guess we'll put fossils in here. So we'll just say um, default fossils delve. Oh, it already does. Nice. So I'm still trying to pull this off on a free to play account. Uh, we are going to get Defiance of Destiny next. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm just having a good time down here, really. I really am. We're going to try to incorporate Blood Rage into the mix more often. Um, maybe even this Berserk thing on, a, on bigger bosses, because this burns it up, but it increases the um, a rage, up, uh, the effect of your rage on you. But with these gloves, we might be able to sustain that for even longer. But we don't usually have the fights last like two seconds anyway, so yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, have a good one and enjoy. I hope this helps and gives you an idea of what you can buy and sell. But you can see even those um, resonators, those prime resonators, you could buy them for 20, probably for 20, 24 on the, on the other market and then sell them here for 32 all day long or even for 39. So you can double your money on those. So there's plenty of ways to make money so that you can afford this. It's not fun flipping back and forth. It's boring. Um, I have a decent time at it, but it, I'd rather I be out, you know, destroying stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to have a good time. Um, I'm going to knock out some more of these just so that they're out of my inventory. And then I'm going to go back down and delve. I like delve a lot. It's easy. It's easy EXP down there, too. We're getting like 300 million, I think. But I, I, I'd have to confirm that again. Have a good one and enjoy, guys. This is fun. I'm smashing stuff apart. Cool.